Search tip number one, identify your key concepts. PubMed has over 20 million citations to articles and it can be easy to be overwhelmed by citations that are not specifically on your topic. One way to ensure that you find relevant articles is to focus your topic using the PCOT acronym. This is a mnemonic to help remember all the important parts of a clinical question. P is for the patient problem or population. I is for intervention, diagnostic test, prognostic factor or exposure. C is for comparison. O is for outcome. The first T is for the type of question you're asking, and the second T is for the type of study that would be best suited to provide evidence to your question. While you are used to identifying the patient problem, intervention, comparison, and outcome, identifying the type of question and type of study may be new to you. It's helpful to identify the type of question you're asking because this will lead you to the best type of study to look for. Some evidence is better suited to certain kinds of questions. A randomized controlled trial, for example, tests the effectiveness of an intervention. This is therefore an appropriate study design to look for when you have a question of therapy and want to know how effective a certain intervention will be. Similarly, a cohort study follows patients forward over time. This therefore is a relevant study design to look for when you have a question of prognosis. This table shows the best study design for each type of question being asked. Note that when more than one study design is listed, the list starts with the preferred level of evidence. Also note that harm data may be included in the results of an RCT, but depending on the intervention, it may be unethical to deliberately expose patients to harm. You may then need to consider other study designs.